joining me. Um, this is going to be a quick and pretty easy hair tutorial on how to get some waves in your hair, some curls, but also some volume as well. I'm going to be using a new tool that I have that I'm really liking. It's from Bedhead and it's called the Rock and Roller. I bought mine from Target. I think it was a little less than 30 bucks and it also does come with the little glove. I'm not so fond of using the glove because I just think it's hard to grip my hair with it, but it does have that if you want to use it when you're wrapping your hair around. But in this video, I'll show you how we ended up with this style and also a little variation on the look as well. Okay, so for my first step, I'm just going to pull up part of my hair so I don't have quite as much to work with as at one time. Now with this wand, there are a few different looks you can get just with this. As far as twisting your hair around this, I usually like to wrap away from my face and you can go on top of the bubbles if you want maybe a little bit bigger wave. Um, you can go in between each one if you want more of a tighter spiral curl. For me, I just kind of start wrapping my hair and whatever it does is what it does. So I'm just going to start on this side, pull out about this much hair. Um, if you did a really big section, you would get looser waves all around. If you do smaller sections, you're going to get tighter waves. That tends to be the way it is with any curling iron you're using. And so then I just start wrapping around here. And now here's the kind of curl we're getting. You know, you can see it's wavy, it might be a little irregular, and I think that's kind of what this is all about. You know, it's funky waves, I think the packaging said, so a little bit different, and I'm just gonna continue that all around this half of my hair. Also, I just wanted to mention that I do have two other wands. Um, they are the Remington T-Studio Pearl. Um, I believe I got them from like Target or Walmart, and they're the light pink ones. I have a larger size and a smaller size, and I really like those, but one thing I I do run into when I use them is that because they're sort of cone shaped, they're just smooth and tapered at the tip, um, sometimes my hair will go all the way to one end of the wand and so then you just end up wrapping the hair on top of itself. A cool thing about this is that because it has these segments, when you wrap your hair it ends up you know, starting at one point in the wand and going all the way to the end without shifting or um, rolling on top of itself and that kind of thing. So I don't know if that makes sense but um, it does make this easier to use. So I am just going to continue wrapping my hair around. All right, so now I've curled each side here. Um, so I'm going to undo my clip. And then I kind of at this point think about how I'm going to part my hair. Like if I want a side part, for example, I go ahead and part it off because I think it kind of affects the way you curl the hair, you know, like curling away from your face and, you know, getting just the right kind of curl you want right around your face. So I do um, go ahead and separate that at this point. And you could do a middle part, of course, or whatever you want. But and I just go on curling. And again, I try to keep it all going the same way. So. I'm once again curling away from my face. Um, as far as this part right here, I usually don't want this to be quite as curled up as the rest of my hair. so. For that, I don't really wrap it as tight, like I'm just not holding the hair as tightly. So it's just around the whole wand and then not holding it on there too long either. So you can see that turns out to be just a little bit looser wave. So now here we are all over the head with a lot of tight waves. So I like to loosen this up just a little bit when I style it. So I just brush through it all. Everything instantly starts to look a little more volumized. And then I still want the hair to have a nice amount of shine. So something I love using, a product I love using it alongside any sort of curling I do is this product from got to be and it's called kinkier I think I featured this in a favorites video and it's gloss and define curl cream So I just get a little bit of this product just a small amount here And I kind of rub it between my hands and then I flip my head over <laughs> And I kind of work my fingers in at the roots of my hair because I think this um, volumizes my hair a little bit more. There's your Dallas Cowboys cheerleader move, by the way. <laughs> And then um, I've still got some in my hands, so I just kind of go over um, my hair and kind of scrunch it up a little bit. So there's your nice shiny waves with some body. If I'm really, you know, wanting to get a style in place before I go out or something, um, what I'll do is just 
tease it a little bit in a couple of places. First of all, section off like maybe um, an inch or so, inch and a half on this side of the part. I spray just a bit of hairspray there at the root and then with my uh, fine tooth comb just gently tease a little bit right there. And then you can kind of comb down over that and you can see you've just got a little more lift there right at the root. And then I do the same on this side. Just kind of take that top section of hair on this side of the part, little hairspray right at the root, and then give it just a little tease. So if you like to have the illusion of like a little bit of a bang going across here, you can work with that a little bit easier, at least with my fine hair. Whenever I tease it, then I can really start working with it and it'll start doing what I want it to do instead of what it wants to do. So. And then I just wanted to point out one little variation you can do, like once your style's at this point, a little something you can do if you want um, maybe some more structure to your hair or you really want it a little bit back from your face. I like to take just a couple of sections here, like I'll take the front part about this much hair right here right off the front and then I kind of like to twist that back away from my face a little bit to right about here on my head and then I take a few bobby pins just a couple actually I put one in to really secure it and then I like to overlap one because you know who wants it going anywhere and then I do kind of the same thing over here I just pull a little bit of the hair up from above my ear and then um, some of the hair from that top bang part that I had going across. Same idea, I'm just kind of twisting it back and pinning it sort of right back here on the side of my head. And I'm going to take two bobby pins again and get those in there and overlap the other. And then if you want a little more lift up here, you can take your comb, the end of your teasing comb, and just give a little bit more to this top part if you just want the look of a little more body. And then just give that a quick spray and you're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little two-in-one tutorial. I feel like whenever I use this wand, um, the curls really do last a long time. I can get second, maybe even third day hair out of these curls, and that's saying a lot for my really fine hair that doesn't even like to hold a curl very well. So thank you so much for taking time to watch, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.